Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be talking about Groovy Collection. We have been doing assertions on the object that we have deserialized. Uh, we also are able to do some assertions. We already did some assertions using uh, the actual on the actual respon response using Rest Assure. But Rest Assure also Rest Assure also allows you to use Groove Collections to improve your assertions, to filter or to search for specific things that you'd like to uh, to assert, and that's very it's a very important knowledge because certain things uh, it's much harder to do in Java and in Groovy using Groovy collections is much simpler, right? So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of the next videos. I'm also going to be posting the links for the previous videos so you can keep it up and let's start. So this is what we're going to be looking right. This is the rest assured documentation and they have the these validations uh, groovy collection examples they they use these uh, example here as a as a json return so what i'm going to teach you is how we're going to transform these into a groovy uh, array of map and you can actually test and and learn groovy collection from there and this is very important because Otherwise, you're going to have to be writing your test and learning Groovy Collection in your test, which is you're going to have to be debugging. And it's going to be really hard because, especially because it's going to be at the very end of your test on the assertions. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error. So that's not very productive. So this is what I have. I have this script file on our um, uh, script folder in our main project. In our main, in the root, there is a script folder and there is a script called Groovy. A col a collections groovy and what I did here is I transformed this JSON into a array of map in groovy so we can actually work on top of this I don't have to keep calling uh, the endpoint and, and trying to learn from there I can just learn from here and then once I figure out what I need I can I can transform this into my into my test right so um if I run this code, right, it's going to only have a couple extra lines because I'm doing slash n to do a break line because there are a couple errors here related to Java version. And I, I, we don't need to fix it. So if I do print book, it's going to print everything on my book, right, on, on, on my book variable, right? So what I can do here is I can filter and I can use the group collection to change the presentation of the data. I'm not going to change the data itself. I'm just going to present the data in a way that my test can act on, right? So uh, what I can do here is I can do print book and I can uh, uh, call a function called find all. Find all is going to filter everything for me based on some options, right? Some predicates. And I pass those predicates to a closure which is called closure in, in, in Groovy. In other languages like Ruby would be Lambda. Uh, I can say the find all is going to iterate in every item. It's going to go through every item. And every item is going to be called IT. Each item actually is going to be called IT for item. And I can say that I want the price of each item. I want the items that have the prices less than 10. And this is going to create is going to go through every one of those is going to check the ones that has the price less than 10 and the ones that do have prices less than 10 is going to put that value in another array in a result of arrays but it's going to put all the ones that it found on the array for me i don't need to do anything right I let me run it so now i have two array and you're going to see that's two array uh, of map right and I have everything here with the value for Moby Dick and sayings of the century. There are the ones with values less than 10. If I take a look, there are this one more than 10 and this another one more than 10 as well. Right. Cool. So, but what I can do, let's say that I want to check the title, right? So this, this is already returning me the, 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 the result array. And now I can say I want only the title. 
So now what's going to give me is going to give me an array of titles or an array of strings, right? Just that, right? If you take a look at how, how a rest assurer uses that, it does what, what we just did and it passed, this is rest assurer, right? And this is Hamcrest assertion, say, I, this array, which is this one, right? Needs to have, it needs to have the items, right? This array has items uh, and it's passing two items. So rest show is going to compare this array here with these are with these here. It doesn't matter the order. And if it's a match, then your, your test passed. So you can check specific things based on something that you filter out. The next one would be uh, I can say print book authors. And this is going to print, give me only the authors in every item there. Really nice. I don't I don't need to iterate in every one of those and 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 print them. I just I just say that I want to print the author. But I can do a little bit more than that, right? I can say print author, but I want to collect specific things. And I pass I, I call a collect method and I pass on a closure and I say that I want the I want the items length. So now I can do something on that item, right? And get the actual length of those items. So now I can say, okay, these are the length of each and every one of those authors. But it doesn't does not stop there, right? One thing that I can do, I can also get since this is a, a result array, I can act on that result. And I can say I want the sum. Now I have 53. If you take a look at how rest assured deals with that, this is the same thing. And it says, uh, using the Hamcrest library, that I want the value of this, which is what we did, 53, needs to be greater than 50. And now we, you'd pass, right? So you have a lot of flexibility as well to check something that is important for you. Another way to simplify this writing here is instead of calling the, the collect and passing on a closure here, I can ignore the collect and I can just say asterisk and I pass on what I want to, to, to act on on each and every item of my author. So I can just say I want the length and it's going to give me the length, or I want the sum, and it's going to give me the sum. So it's a little simplified way for, this is a little bit more readable, right? Uh, pe people's going to take a look, it's going to be easier to understand this than this one. If the person doesn't know what that, what that, what that do, then the person might, might have to take a look at the documentation and figure out on their own. Right, so that's basically what I want to show you. I'm going to leave uh, everything here uncommented for you, so you can you can take a look at the code. So I'm just going to make it a little pretty here. So let me separate by two lines. So now when we run everything, you have uh, a separation of each and every one of those things and what it's doing, right? So thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notification of my next videos. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up and I ask that you do so that's how the channel can grow. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.